week or so ago when it was raining a lot and when I say a week it's probably a couple of weeks and suddenly there was a leak in the middle of the lounge ceiling so not wanting water to be trapped up there I drilled a couple of holes through the plasterboard to let the water out and then of course I forgot about it and while we had good weather it wasn't a problem I did actually get up in the rain a couple of weeks ago onto the roof and put some silicon on it and tried to seal it up and I thought I had but when we had two days of rain over this weekend just gone it started to leak again oh bother I said I'm not going to get up there now because it wasn't leaking that badly I'll get up there on Monday and today is Monday and the rain has for the most part gone away and is supposed to stay away for a week roughly which is nice hopefully things will dry out a little bit because everything is swimming again at this point and so I will take you up on the roof and show you what I have already done and then we will go and have a look on the ceiling and see what kind of damage there is up there that's not going to be so easy let's go and have a look on the roof I must say it is a lovely view from up here all the way down to the ranges down that way and all the way around but that's not what we're here to look at so where I think it's leaking is at this lap of the ridge capping so this had lifted the over the years the rivets that are holding it together had given up the ghost and so there was quite a gap there I did seal that a couple of weeks ago but what I hadn't noticed while I was doing it in the rain was that where this rivet was under there uh, there was a hole but I'm not entirely convinced that was the issue anyway I removed all the old rivets and I have now riveted this back down so that it's hard, hard against this one hard on top of that one and I have re-siliconed it hopefully that will overcome the issue the slightly nagging problem is that in actual fact the leak in the ceiling is uh, along here now water in roofs does tend to travel wherever it wants to go kind of thing generally in a downhill direction obviously but that is of a little bit of a concern and I can't see anywhere over there where water would be getting in so we will see the lap of this sheet over this sheet goes to here you can see where the other one finishes underneath here so the water would have to travel that far anyway before it could get through let's go and have a look in the ceiling space and see what we can find and yes I am all kitted out in overalls hat because there are pink bats up here and they're nasty let's go and see what we can find <clears throat> now as you can tell there's very little ceiling space here <clears throat> so I will basically have to lie on my back and pull myself along till I get to the appropriate place and then we'll have a look and see what we can see As I manoeuvre my way through here, I have to be really careful where I put my foot down to lift myself. My foot needs to go down onto a truss, which obviously I'm doing by feel with my foot. If I push down on the bats, that's just going to push down on the plasterboard, which will cause it to fail. For the same reason, I'm trying to straddle across two trusses with my body. You will see later that I wasn't entirely successful in this endeavour. A short story. When I was much younger, probably somewhere around 11 to 13, my dad sent me into the ceiling of the family home. I have no recollection as to why. 
there was uh, more ceiling space in that ceiling. You couldn't stand up fully, but enough to move around. The ceiling was Pinex tile on battens, as many of them were at that time. At the precise moment that Dad said, Don't stand on the battens, I did. And as a consequence, my foot made contact with the Pinex tile, which of course meant that it was no longer fixed to the batten, and it also pulled down the edge of the one lapping over the edge of it. I didn't fall through, but there were words said. Unfortunately, that particular tile pattern was no longer available, so forever after there was a reminder for me in the corner of the room where there were two tiles that didn't match. There wasn't anything really obvious as far as watermarks on the upper timbers. The building paper that is under the iron up particularly near the ridge cap is not very well laid at all and it's got big humps and hollows in it. And it could, could well be that the water is coming through and then getting trapped in the building paper and travelling some distance along under the ridge cap before finding its way out. Sadly, I couldn't find the spot <coughs> where the water was coming in. Uh, not sure why, but when I came back down again, I realised that obviously I put some pressure on this area as I pulled myself across it, because now it has popped the paint and also the join because that's where the join is where that on um, on this side that's where the join is in the jib anyway <coughs> yeah uh, yes I know I should have been wearing a mask up there but I was up there before I remembered and I wasn't going to climb back out again just for that uh, We'll wait and see, I think, is probably the answer. Uh, wait and see if it leaks again with the next lot of rain. And as we're only a month into winter, I'm sure there'll be more rain. And if it doesn't, then I'll do something about repairing the ceiling. If it does, I'll be back to square one again, see what we can find. It's not pleasant up there. There's not enough ceiling space just as well I'm not any bigger, that's all I'll say, because otherwise I wouldn't get in there. Alright, that's it for this little interlude. Bye bye. You may have been able to tell that <clears throat> I wasn't particularly satisfied with the outcome of my investigations in the ceiling yesterday with respect to the water leak. So <clears throat> I'm going to have another go. What I have done is, if you look behind me there, you can see that just here, there's a change in the width, if you like, of the room. And so I know where that change is in the roof space. And I know that this here, where the water's coming through, is four feet or 1200 millimeters or 1 1.2 meters if you like from there so that should be relatively easy for me to find up in the ceiling so let's go and have a look when i came up here yesterday and crawled all the way down the end there well not quite right to the end at the time I was thinking this seems to be <clears throat> long further than what I expected it to be so I was a little confused by that but <clears throat> just put it aside today I came up <clears throat> and I thought okay so it should be the leak within the first couple of these trusses so there's one right here and then just beyond that is where it would be four feet when i got up there here 
I thought, something's not right. I'm making an assumption that is incorrect. And then I realized what that assumption was. And I mean, I knew this, but it had got lost in the eons of time. So I thought, <coughs> said he manipulating himself in the ceiling, that this wall here was where the wall downstairs <coughs> changed direction, if you like, or had that step in it. But in actual fact, <coughs> it's not. There's um, a flat roof on this bit, which is the front entrance. And in fact, oops, Daisy, he said, <coughs> trying not to fall down through the ceiling. Um, hang on, let me adjust this light so that it's not shining in your eyes. <coughs> and yes, I had a both a mask and my hat organized and then left them both downstairs. Never mind. Um, I realize now that in actual fact the wall that that bit in the lounge uh, is at least probably two meters further further along and so instead of being 1.2 meters from this point it would have been nearer three three and a half kind of thing that being the case i'm reasonably satisfied that what i have repaired up on the roof is probably where the water was getting in so i am now satisfied enough about that to say okay let's wait and see if it leaks next time we get rain and it doesn't leak in all rain it only leaks when the rain when the wind and rain is coming from a particular direction so we will go with wait and see which is what my mother used to say when i was young and said mum what's for dinner her response was invariably wait and see i'll leave you with that Bye bye. And so this is the end of this rather short video on the roof leak. Uh, we are forecast to get a bit of rain over the next few days. So this is being recorded quite some time after I did the roof leak repair. So we'll see how the next few days go. I'm not expecting it to leak and I'll be disappointed if it does. But that's such as it is when you live in an older house. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Ah, oh, what I can tell you is that the next video will be about starting on the raised sized for the new trailer. And returning to my trade of nearly 40 years ago and using the new well, not so new now, the MIG welder that I bought a year or more ago, uh, which will be a new thing, and so there will be a learning process around that, I am sure. So, something for you to look forward to. Bye! So, this is the end of the short video on the roof lick. Let's try that again.